All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. Sorry. Wait, what does three letter Party. boy mean? Party. Major, major three letter you know boy. You know what it means. <laughs> yeah. I, I... You're, no, no, this is a CIA training flaring up. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm still trying. I'm still trying he's to. So good. I hope he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. Hold on. I thought you... Are you home? No, I just got. I just got home in my car. I'm still in my car. Okay. Are you at home? No, I just got home. <laughs> <laughs> he's in his driveway. I'm assuming, or whatever the LA equivalent of a driveway is. <laughs> Street parking. <laughs> whatever. What <laughs> Tweet me, asshole. What's it? I wasn't expecting that. Alright. Yeah. What happened last time? Oh, God, it was two weeks ago. You don't have a Garf to ditch it on to. You started at the foot of the mountain. Well, no, I think we actually started. started no, we started in the, in the cave. cave, yeah. Uh, and we had agreed to uh, split from the uh, other half of the team uh, to investigate the lights that were uh, kind of distracting and uh, leading the, um, the the tentacle troll guys away uh, oh, and all the the dogs um, which you know Bricky kind of disapproved of that but you know who cares um, <laughs> she was not a fan yeah uh, we set up a meeting point and agreed to uh uh, meet up there, and when we got close enough, we saw that the uh, the light itself was actually just a torch that was like uh, cleverly uh, hanging, like uh, set to hang from a tree, so that kind of swayed back and forth in the wind. Um, uh, which you know, of course, he attracts the uh, the dark one. So, um, with that discovery, we were like, yeah, we don't actually have to go anywhere near that thing. Uh, let's go rendezvous with the others. Uh, and on the way to doing that, we heard some uh, some struggle, some shouting. Uh, as we, yeah, while we were uh, climbing up the face of the mountain, um, following the footsteps of the other team. Um, but yeah, when we rushed to the uh, rescue, we found a young man uh, named Channing. Ch Ch uh, yeah, Channing. <laughs> no, yeah, was that was not not no, Tatum. Shut up. <laughs> not Tatum. <laughs> Was it, wait, was it? It was Channing, right? It was Channing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 said Channing Tatum. I was like, wait. No, it wasn't no, Channing was it Tatum, Tatum, but it was Channing. Although I'm sure yeah. we all kept thinking of Channing Tatum because he's. I don't know any other Channing in existence other than Channing Tatum, personally. Oh, regardless, uh, we happened upon Channing uh, being charged by uh, some dogs and that a uh, troll tentacle thing, uh, kind of holding his ground ready to die uh but since we gave him another option he took it uh and we were able to uh slay all the creatures involved and learn some things about those tentacle troll things did we learn what they're called uh, i don't think he gave us a name or anything uh you, i remember you what they were called yeah we, we learned what they were they were hobbs Work. Oh right, yeah, yeah. But we yeah. don't know what they're currently called. I don't know if, <laughs> who's in charge of naming these things. Anyways, mm -hmm. so you did um, learn that Gregor can turn into a wolfman. That, that was new. Yep, we saw that for the first time, which is pretty awesome. Meanwhile, Clint um, is over here just like. Mm. <laughs> and I think we learned, or at least we theorized, that uh, it's something like inside the big creature that needs to be killed rather than like uh the troll shaped thing itself uh because they kind of like connect to one of the dead dogs and use it as a shield and kind of animated it um yeah. kind of like that uh like uh that fungus that takes over <laughs> bugs minds um or bodies uh and yeah uh we were able to take it down uh and rendezvous with the rest of the team uh and that's when Channing kind of told us, uh, uh, like the mission 
that he was set out to complete, which was to tell the Black Watch um, about what's happening to his village, how everyone kind of seems like out of it. Is that right? Yeah, they're like different now, right? Like there's like something off about all of them. Like they get yeah, taken into like, the mines and they come back out healthier, but different. Right. Uh, and to Channing's knowledge, it was only him and uh, one lady, one friend of his, that uh, were like the only ones that weren't out of it. What was, that what was taken. the lady's name? Rosemary. Mm. Thank Rosemary. you. I was going to say Rosemary, and I'm like, no. <laughs> She was like the, the head priestess of the. Or she, she was, was a candidate. Be like for the it. priestess. She was a candidate for yeah. it, but then she refused, and then her sister got put into the spot instead. And apparently, that didn't go so well. Yeah, and now everyone in the town is kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we did end up bringing Channing. We didn't follow Channing back up to Fairfax immediately. We tried to re rendezvous with our other team, and. <laughs> <laughs> that, that startled me. Uh, we got found by Caster in his mist walking form. Fucking cloud. Whatever. And then we managed to regroup with the other team. Well, but while, or before rather, we did that, Bradford did secure a live subject for Erica. Oh, yeah. And then when we got that. back. Briggy was like, who's that and what's that? <laughs> then, uh, not, not the most uh, pleased individual was Briggy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I don't know. Erica did immediately start working on the hound and then I think amidst all the cadets there's some internal eh, it, was, it was just a discussion it wasn't a full-on argument some discussion about what the plan is for young channing and fairfax our actual mission which is get to the top of the mountain and light relight the brazier there and basically um Bergy was focused on the mission and just wanting to get that done and carolyn was like you're such a bitch <laughs> Cold hearted bitch. <laughs> Eventually, we came to the final arrangement of we'll at least go take a look on the way up. And through yeah, least, Channing's uh, assistance, we have a series of underground like tunnels and stuff that would fast, tra fast and safely, relatively transit us from where we were to Fairfax. Yeah, and Gregor marked all the. Uh, for shortcuts that he told them about. Um, what else? Erica did make a little bit of headway into her autopsy. Yeah, she told us, like, the best thing to do is just to hit him in the top of the head, right? I mean, I feel like we're trying to do that anyway, so I don't think that makes our job any easier, but now we have a deeper understanding of that they have two brains inside that skull of theirs. They have some redundancies on processing, to consuming toxic material. They have, like, what, two levers or something, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think aside from that... Oh. So, this is kind of funny. Uh, I think uh, you are right. Uh, does anyone have anything else to add? Silence. Oh. Good. So, what, what question? What, what's so funny? Uh, <laughs> well, as I take you to this map, I suppose, what do you think? <laughs> uh. All right. This is this is yeah. movie over. Here. All right, all right. Waiting for some visual. Okay, I'm, I'm scanning the map. So, oh, <laughs> this happens. What do you think a, a, a reasonable person's response is? From our side or their side? <laughs> their side. Oh, probably called. 
bounce into higher management. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my reasonable response would be personally. Didn't we short rest or something? We got a long rest in. You did. Yeah. Okay. I'm still injured. I'll fix that. Uh, the black watch uh, rings are long rest, not day based, right? Not like they are day based, right? Oh, this oh, so it's like every dawn. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I don't have it. Shit. So your armada rolls <laughs> here. <laughs> your <laughs> friggin' legion, and uh. There is some notable cause for concern, but you see Channing go up to these two individuals who are dressed in relatively heavy gambeson uh, style clothing uh, with heavy furs over them and long cloaks uh, just to fight off some of the heat. But as you get closer to this town, as you've gotten closer, you notice that there is a nice warp around it. As you look around, you see many braziers of burning, uh, a blackish soot coming off of them, uh, indicating the coal, as well as many people to and fro in this small town and their houses, but many plants actually growing here, but all of the same type. Besides that, the, the obvious is a massive chained statue made of metal, covered in chains that are bound and woven with uh, some sort of silkish material that's hard to make out. But, uh, you know what? Lucy and you have observant. It's definitely braided hair <laughs> that has Love bound it. this massive, intimidating presence to the middle of their town. There's like a small... Um, Two small candelabras on each side of small podiums that uh, sit out front of it as what appears to have some sort of ritualistic manner around it. Hmm. Besides that, these two individuals, and now everyone seemed to stop what they're doing, as happens in a small town when outsiders are around. Everyone is known except for you, and that breeds a lot of suspicion you see Channing go about trying to calm these people but they're not necessarily having it they say to wait at the edge of town not to come in and they're gonna they're gonna go get father Xavier so do you do anything in the meantime or do you have any questions about the area? We're all here, right? Like the whole, all the cadets and the, everyone? Correct. You said the, the town was like surprisingly warm? Yes, it seems there are many braziers everywhere. Every house has smoke rolling out of its chimney. Mm -hmm. Given what you know, what Channing's told you, this place churns through a lot of coal, as you can see. The middle area where the large statue is is four massive grates that are pumping out a black soot from them that have melted away all the snows, leaving the exposed stone from the mountainside below. Outside of that, you can see the paths that are relatively traveled and have such had the snow relatively seed from it, as well as several docks to the east that have uh, people fishing to and fro from them. Besides that, the the chill, the ever-present and oppressive cold that you've been struggling with for the last couple days has seeded for the most part. Not exactly uh, relaxing, but warm enough that you can not have to struggle to survive. Uh, Halbjorn will uh, call out uh, for uh, Channing. Beck him close. Yeah, he, he comes over as these two, well, one of them's gone off to 
fetch someone and the other one sort of standing guard hesitantly though you can see while he's you know a grown man strong in a mining town he's far from a warrior Channing comes over and just uh he, he's just like sort of you can see he's ready to make apologies for the situation and he says uh -huh. I, I i understand i know this is a little off-putting but he yeah. puts a hand up, uh, and he kind of juts with his chin towards the statue in the middle, and he says, Who exactly does that depict? Uh, well, um, hell, uh, it's something like a banished, conquered, some. He just, like, looks over. I mean, I'm sure Rosemary could tell you better. Uh, and remind me where Rosemary is. I don't think she's in the village, is she? Uh, she's not here right now. Okay. We need to get the girl and get out of here. After we speak to this Father Xavier. Aren't they, you know, part of the... Hmm. Which house is Rosemary's? Ah! He points over here. Well, that was her, her family's home, but she's the only one left now. I see. Isn't the father part of the, what do you call it, cult? <clears throat> Keep calling all this down, but yeah, relatively, everyone's kind of <clears throat> little outside of the sorts right now. But we can talk about that later. He's like, you see him looking around nervously. Because you still see all the eyes on you. I'm assuming it would be, like, nigh impossible for me, since everyone's looking at us, for me to sneak over to this boat down this way. Uh, on your own? On my own. Probably. With assistance from someone, you know. Like, body blocking visibility for me? Right? It's like a magician. <laughs> if you're looking at where they want you to, you've already missed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I want to cause a scene just yet. <laughs> we just got here. Maybe later. After a few minutes, uh, this gentleman rolls down and, uh, you know, just this nice fellow right here. Oh, yeah, he looks very nice with that sword and the other sword and yeah. the scarring on his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a real, real quality gentleman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He comes over and looks at Channing and you. And it, no, it's just a single predator. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. New game coming out. He comes over and just puts a hand on Channing's shoulder and looks to you and just does like a, a head nod and a smile without saying much. And for like Getting a measure of all of you. Certainly a lot of y'all. To what do we owe the pleasure? We apologize for the intrusion. And for causing your people worry. <laughs> we are... Well, you ain't intruded on nothing. I mean, that boy might be stepping on a fern, but... <laughs> <laughs> no intrusion. It's certainly cold, but this place is warmer. Not that it is. Many an armed and armored individual. I assume you could see how that might create a We are merely prepared for the dangers of this mountain. 
I'm sure you understand. It just like looks at you for a second or two too long without responding. Before nodding. Certainly. Uh, can understand that. Can I inside check that? Sure. Nope. <laughs> We're off to a ripping hot start today, eh? Hey, you want to else inside check? <laughs> um, Clint is busy looking no. around right now. <laughs> Old Scarred Mountain Man is weird. And other news at 11. <laughs> uh, Fire is hot. Use it who has now. the tech magic that we know? I, for I forgot to fucking... Can I, can I prep that now since we had a long rest? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just checking how many spells I can prep. But keep going. Well, here's the thing. You seem like nice folk for as well-armed and armored as you are. However, I'm not saying we don't take kindly here in Fairfax to many people showing up. But, uh, like you said... You prepared yourself for the dangers of the mountains, and we got to do the same. So as it stands, friend, you are an outsider to us. Oh, I really wish we brought up the brazier to Channing before this. In retrospect. <laughs> why? Well, I'll, I'll, well, you'll see why. Father Xavier has uh, hospitable people of the mountain. You and us, we won't be here too long. In fact, we'll be off the mountain soon enough. We're trying to get to the top. Would you be able to help us? Paths that you know of. Reports on the creatures that lie up there. Anything like that. You see him just stare at you for, once again, a second or two too long. For just nodding. I understand what you're saying, young man, but... Not being here for very long is exactly the opposite of what will happen. I reckon you'll be here till the end of time or something eats your bones. Because it ain't likely you're making it up to the top of that mountain. And why is that? Well, it's too cold, boy. Insight check on that part. Same. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I don't think it's the cold that's going to keep us from getting up there. Nice! <laughs> hey, y'all are killing it. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, how are you? It's fine. How are you? Coming in the back. So it's like, this guy is obviously a little off. But there was not hesitation or any sideways glances or anything other than direct eye contact when he said it. Hmm. There's no shift in posture or intonation. That's Just out of curiosity, does it seem like his words are his own? Well, that'd be something. He's busy oh, right yeah. now. If only we could read his mind or something. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that sounds like... I could stab his mind, but <laughs> that's, that's how close oh. as I got. <laughs> maybe, maybe an insight? Follow-up insight, yeah. Seven. If we what? really... Oh. If we really need to get him on our good side, I have Charm Person. I just don't want to piss no, him off it's after the hour gonna last. It's not last that long. Yeah, we have an hour, but yeah, I don't know if uh, we're going to be in town for an hour. Or there's more. certainly some strange mannerisms, right? Yeah. Like, there's eye contact that lingers too long. There's unnatural pauses. There's... Something off that gives more credence to Channing's words. It's just because of the mountain people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> racial <laughs> racial oh, benefit yeah. mountain person hard to read <laughs> but i'll tell you what we're good folk here don't want you to go without we'll get you something to keep you warm while we sort this all out how does that sound maybe you do some stuff for us gain a little bit of rapport and then we can trust that your friends of the folk here. Looks to Briggy and Halbjorn. Gregor shakes his head no to Halbjorn. Halbjorn looks to Briggy. This is 50 50. Like, it takes time to be here. But we can also learn about the town. We can also learn <laughs> about what's up ahead. Yeah. What kind of things would that be? Nothing much. Maybe carrying some buckets of coal up, helping fend off any encroaching wildlife, bringing in some fish, recovering some lost equipment. Nothing major. Not asking you to risk life or limb. Just ease the burdens. Show that you're willing to help the people of Fairfax. I have to ask, is there anything strange on the wind that Gregor can smell? Uh, uh tons of coal. <laughs> yeah. Soot and soot in coal. Yeah. We start getting carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Where am I? That sounds... That sounds like a good start. Oh, uh, what is Channing's reaction at Father Xavier saying we should stick around and stuff like that? See, now you're asking the good question. Yeah, what's our what's our oh. what's our litmus test? <laughs> How's he looking? There's certainly some nerve, like angry uh, nerve or like anxiety nerve. Uh, more to the anxiety, though. He's trying to not look at Father Xavier. While he does it, because he knows he has a tell. Hmm. Well, I think that's quite beneficial to both of us. So, tell you what, we'll have some some men set you up a fire. Do y'all do y'all have tents? Something you can sleep in, keep yourself warm, get the wind off your back. Quietly checks my inventory. I think I have. A I think I brought a tent, but I think it was not like a mega. Did I bring a tent? Uh, Father Xavier. Different, ca different character. If I, if, I, if I might bring something up, sir. Uh, there is that abandoned house. Uh, oh. And you know, since Rosemary's family done passed, and well, I ain't got many folk, maybe they could stay with us. I'd rather stay in an actual building than any tent. I'm, I'm going to look at Channing when they offer that. I'll tell you what. Channing in offers. good faith, we'll do that so we can establish you something else. How's that sound? Fantastic. Now I do ask that you stay in those buildings. Don't do anything crazy. Go wandering around. And we'll probably about an hour or so. We could have you something set up. He Thank just, you. Like folks. looks at you and holds his gaze a little bit too long. And as you say thank you, he just holds it for a second longer. We're cracking a very flat smile and nodding. Before you get about to doing that, Father Xavier, I wanted to inquire. Father Xavier, are you a town's elder? Uh, head priest? Elderman? Yes, sir. I suppose all of those would apply in some manner or another. 
The yeah. guy the guy asked just a straight question about I point at the statue. <laughs> that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Some sort of The conversation piece itself. Definitely is out the miss, sir. C call me curious though. If we're gonna be well, in your town, I think we should know your rules. Certainly. Long time ago, there was a man named Karloff and his tribe that sought to claim these mountains, seek dominion over them, expand the boundaries of the world in which we lived. But not all things are quiet, not all mountains are still. Some things move, some things have a wheel of their own. That right over there was one of them. See, deep beneath the mountains, after we established roots here, found something when we were digging. Digging for coal, found something we ought not see. Beast of unimaginable dark. But we pray, being the good, faithful folk we are, and we were sent a blessing. An agent of the light that bound it. So that its coal might never run out and it never awaken. As such, well, Karloff may have moved on, but my kin and I, we stayed and we made, we made do with the blessings we were given. Now, we ain't got much. I'm sure you seem nicer, but it works for us. Clint just shrugs. I can't fault the people that are damn resilient for his being that way. He <laughs> must put his odds work. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're real curious, I'm sure Mother Lorelai I could tell you a bit more than I can. She's wizened to the Our Saints and understands its will a little bit better than I. And I don't mean to scare you away. But that's just the way we operate. We all have our natures, Father Xavier. Again, I can't be falling you for it. But I am curious. But, hold up, two point eight of hands. Won't be troubling you any more than we gotta. I'm sure you're a busy man, especially with us showing up. I suppose so, but I'm sure in time there'll be more we could discuss. We're always happy to share the enlightenment we've gotten with others. But as they say, to each their own. And we take that to heart here. Then we'll be seeing you later, Father. Nods and heads back towards this main building in the far, far back. Does he walk with, like, a limp or anything? Or is he, like, pretty... <laughs> normal, quote-unquote? Uh, oh, man. No, no insight needed. There's a, a, a stiffness. Like, like a creakiness? <laughs> like being older? The way he moves, where there's not much... Mobility of the joints, it's relatively stiff in everything he does. His arms don't really bend or move when he walks. Everything seems... I mean... To you as a as a player, it would seem robotic. Nah. Uh, not, that, not that any of us have ideas of what robots are. Gotcha. I'm going to try to encode that in my mind in case for, for whatever reason I decide to impersonate him later. So, you... Channing says, why, why don't you follow me this way? We'll uh, head you over, get you change, get the snow kicked off your boots. All right. 
lead the way. As he heads over, tr like circles around town, he just like looks back once before, like nodding to you and like shaking his not shaking his head, like uh, tilting his head in a like a follow me manner. Do you, do you, do you follow? Mm -hmm. I follow? I'm gonna message. I'm gonna message him real quick. You seem on edge. What do you have to say? Have you messaged him before? Nope. I have. <laughs> oh, you have? You have. Okay. I think when we first it... met him. I think. Yeah, yeah I did. Like, you did it as like a test or something, right? I did. It, it's best not to talk about it in town. When we get out of town, we can talk freely. He Telepathically, even he's still worried. You know I'm talking to you in your head, right? <laughs> no one else can hear it. Wait, really? Is that how it works? <laughs> yes, that is how it works. <laughs> He's like, I've been talking, but my mouth ain't moving. That's some sort of magic? Well, wow. Oh. Okay, well, that went better than I expected. I thought maybe it would go a little bit worse. But, but um... She says a forewarning message cuts off. Yeah. <laughs> I like to oh, imagine that Channing's making like a bunch of like facial expressions as if he's talking, but he's not <laughs> talking. So to anyone that's yeah. looking at him, he just looks like he's having like a moment. I, I message him again. Hold on, hold on. Small words, short phrases. It doesn't last that long. Right. Okay. Um. They might ask some weird stuff from can I have an example of what you've seen? Uh, there ain't a lot of us around here. What? We ain't had a lot of contact with the other towns recently. I cast it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like restarting. <laughs> Yeah. A message every time. Yeah. <laughs> he finishes uh, one sentence and no. It's like it's just a, a it's two cups on a string at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how to say it other than I might ask you to impregnate some of the ladies. What? <laughs> I message I... everyone this information. <laughs> I message Halbjorn this information. <laughs> what? Do you send it to anybody else? No, just Halbjorn. <laughs> he has to. He has to stab them. I I uh, need to know how I she raises it. Oh, uh, before we go to this, Matt, I've gone down to pet Rex. I think is that is that Carolyn's dog's name, Rex? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And as I do, so, I want to pluck some of the plants with my mage hand as I'm pretending to pet him and try to secrete it, like hide it. One, yeah, one he just looks at you like. Just go with here, it, boy. Here. Just, just go with it. <laughs> yeah, that's just a pet of service dog. Yeah, well, I'm trying to use him as a distraction or as cover for hiding stuff. No, yeah. He's now, he's now my drug runner. When you say that, he like makes a, a, a over display of that. <laughs> Dog smarter than he looks, Kelvin. Oh, why didn't you say that part out loud, Lucy? That's weird. You're Jordan. I messaged it because I, you oh, guys that's... were talking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted to interject it before we go to a map that has no living oh, yeah. plants on it. Fine, I'll say it now. Uh, Channing said the father might have us fuck the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Do they, do they respond back? <laughs> do I get a response? There's gonna be radio silence from Brady. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot I was muted. Uh, you just get, <laughs> all you get back from Javier is, oh no. <laughs> like, what do I get from, uh, from Brady? <laughs> also, oh no. I don't think that'd be very productive for me. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> Touche. We don't have time for that. Arguably, it take only like a couple of minutes, but we still don't have time for that. 
You can stop messaging me now. No. <laughs> That's Brittany's way of telling you to say shut the fuck up. As you head with your freaking squad and a half over squad up. to this tree, you see a young woman in a long uh, red cloak kneeling at uh, this grave that is several hundred meters from town and isolated from the rest. It seems to be in a somber reflection, but as she hears you approach, steps, stands up and looks over before walking in your direction. She heads over, she looks at Channing, looks at you all, Are these them? Uh, yes, they are. Found them. She has like a... Almost like a puzzled look on her face. How did that happen so fast? We happen to be in the area. She, like, looks confused to that, like, but then looks back towards the tree she was just sitting under. That must mean it's not a coincidence. Call it providence if you want. Fact of the matter is, we're here. We are. I can't say how long we'll be here for. But is it true what Father Xavier says? There's no way up at the top of the mountain. There is a way, but it is hard to traverse. But possible. If you're hardened enough, I suppose it could be. I guess we'll find out then. Uh, I message um, Halbjorn. How hard do we have to be to climb in the mountain? <laughs> she like jumps forward at that. There's blizzards. There's blizzards up there. And they're worse. They're far worse than the rest of the mountain. Can I insight check what she's saying? Absolutely. Who said perception is the most common skill? It depends <laughs> on the group. Uh, the It's less so what she's saying, more so how she's saying it. And that it was right after the possibility of y'all just leaving to go and do that appeared. So something could uh, seem off of it, then. Something she's seemed she's awesome making it sound more time. difficult than it is so that we don't just leave immediately without her. Yeah, that's... I got her. Director of Hopeless for an elder. Oh, say that again? He'll whisper, I got her. He... Yeah, I mean, you can't really see because of his mask, but he definitely tilts his head as if he's, like, raising a brow at you, Greg. What are you I talking about? I won't attack unless you say, but they got her. She's <laughs> one of them. What makes you say that? I can tell. <laughs> what is that at your waist? So she doing? Pointing at her waist. Family heirloom. Hmm? She pulls out this dagger that has a, a curve to it and some sort of runic uh, in etchings into it that has a, a black strip that runs down the center of the blade. Like a curve as in like a kukri or like what? Uh, not a kukri, more like a... a 
like uh, like this. Yeah. It curves back instead of forward. Has to hide the text that he has under the picture. Oh, never mind. Right. Where's the edge? Here. Correct. So it's like yeah. a dagger like this. Yeah. yeah. Re reverse carambit. Yeah. And then down the middle, there's a black strip that has the etching in it. Oh. We need and to that's have... on her waist? Correct. Gotcha. She pulls it and holds it. We need your help. This village won't survive without you. She just like drops down to her knees. I'll pick oh. up her hand to you. I'll do whatever. Jesus, uh, please get up. You, you don't need to do that. You see Channing run over? Come on, they're good people. You still... aren't the shadowed ones, correct? He nods. That's what my mother told me. Said you were the salvation for people like us. And we need that salvation. And I know how to do it. Then we're listening. He looks around. Uh, and he'll say, Do you think this is private enough? Funny, I was about to ask Carolyn to, to see if Rex smells the same when that ain't us right now. Just hear her look back. There's nothing. No one's going to look at you. If Clint still wants to ask that. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, Carolyn I, responded. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Clint yeah. trusts that far. That was the thing. Uh, uh, okay. I think she probably sees that. Check for yourself. Right back. How about we secure the perimeter? People that don't need to know don't need to know. <clears throat> oh, I can do that. I'll go with you. I hide in a tree. Somewhere off the map. <laughs> I think Bradford should go too. <laughs> 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 Your orders are his command. Your command is his wish. <laughs> I mean, you're in charge, yeah. You know, <laughs> you're being awfully quiet today. Go watch the perimeter. <laughs> I want right. to be honest with you ahead of time, though, so you're not under any misconceptions. You see her hold the dagger out in front of her and start muttering some words as it glows. I am what you might call shadow touched. Oh. Anybody know what that means? Uh, I mean, that sounds like a investigation or insight. Oh, insight's her. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's what they're calling darkened. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. She's a type one. Get her. Favorite enemy. We we prefer to call them darkened. I understand that. I will use your words. I am darkened. How do you know this? Because I know incantations and things that my mother taught me. And I know where they come from, and I know they're not natural. Does all that track with what we know about 
darkened, at least darkeners. Absolutely. Okay. I wanted this information first and foremost up front so you didn't think I was deceiving you. If after this you need to take my life, then so be it. I'll trade it for the village, gladly. He will glance to his right at Gregor and then left to Briggy. He, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to do like facial expressions when you're wearing a mask. Uh, but he just, he, he gives her a small nod. And she can extrapolate from that what she will. Um, can, I, can I insight if she's being honest to bait us further in? Or is she actually looking for help? Sure, roll it. God damn. I mean, you, you can take it for what you're worth. We will discuss your fate later. For now, let's focus on your village. Inside the village proper, inside the main cathedral, there's a being that exists there. It's not a natural creature. And it is what's causing all of this. Have you seen it with your own eyes? I haven't seen all of it, but I've seen the shrine in which it's kept. They call her the Lady of Rebirth. She's the one everyone was sent to. He doesn't say she, he says it. She's the one that is changing people. Is there anyone but Channing not changed? She just nods. There are many. But none that are wise to what it is the only reason i know is because i was in training to be the next mother but once i saw it and what it was doing and what it does i couldn't go through with it so your sister took your place you see her like tear up at that My cowardice cost my sister her life. Her life? I was under the impression that she was merely taken her mind. She didn't make it through the process. The rebirthing process is simpler for most, but priestesses have to go under more. My apologies. This must be hard to talk about, but... Never mind. If this lady of rebirth, you called it, if it is the source of all this, then perhaps if we slay it, it would free the minds of your villagers. I believe so, but it's not so simple. You see, the lady of rebirth, she never moves. She never moves from that altar and whatever is behind those curtains. It stays there. I don't think it's able to move on its own, but that's why it uses 
its father and mother to enact its will. <laughs> he called it. If you can separate it from those, it can be killed. So we would have to kill them first. At the same time, roughly. If you engage her while someone else kills them, then she won't have time to create new ones or funnel power into them. Uh, she said kill them as we engage the lady? Correct. Okay. She's powerful, but not in a direct way, not in a fight. I'm sure she's strong, but that's not where her power comes from. It comes in her ability to create things, change them, make them more like her. And I try to insight if she's being used to say what she's saying. I can't even see any interactions with you. Uh, you can roll it, but how would you determine such a thing? I guess that it's a good question. I guess it's more. Can I try to tell if they want us to be separated? Because they're saying we need to separate into three different groups. That would be something I could maybe tell. Uh, sure, roll it. Uh, use As you are pondering this, you hear Erica just sort of walk up there. Oh, classic Erica. Oh, sh oh no. Can't wait. I can't tell shit. Just, Can I insight Erica as she's walking out? third or fourth <laughs> insight roll on her alone. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, but do you... You can. It's gonna be, like, remarkably no. Like, <laughs> well, 20, baby. You, Come on. you see eight. <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, remarkably low roll, too. So he'll just call it Erica. What are you doing? She just like continues walking forward, but as she hears you call her, she like quickens her steps so you can't stop her. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. She just goes over and grabs her by the jaw. Say ah. Open up. Uh, pulls on her eyelids down. Yeah, like, she is uh, a type one, right? So He 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 doesn't uh rush it, but he'll like walk This 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 normal yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's part of the process. We have to figure this out. <laughs> he'll, he'll reach out and, like, <laughs> grab her by the shoulders. Or, I guess, like, under the arms and, like, lift her up. No. Put me back. Put me back. It's a shame she's so okay. crazy. <laughs> she really is not like, one of those things. down over here. My god. It, if that's what it takes, I will. I have no problems with that. Oh my no, god, don't. I mean, or she said that's what it takes. That's what it takes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you should let her look at her. Uh, that's what it takes to what? That's what it takes to get your help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Halbjorn, like, has his back to, uh, the, the villagers. He's just, like, crossing his arms looking down at Erica. You'll say, uh... Her fingers are touching. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> but it. please, Halbjorn, it would be really cool. It... We'll discuss this after. We focus on the village. Understood. Understood. She looks over to Briggy. Don't look over there. You're looking over to me. Don't, don't look at your mother. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> he snaps his fingers and like does like two Young fingers. Young lady. Kicks some snow. I hated you. 
<laughs> oh Opportunity attack. Opportunity attack! <laughs> <laughs> uh, advantage goes surprised. Uh, she already feels plenty of attack, no advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you see Doran walk over, might I see that dagger of yours? Uh, she hands it over, he begins inspecting it. And then looks back to y'all. There's no doubt. This has darkness all over. Before handing it back over to her, and sort of like grabbing some snow to sort of wash his hands off of it. Mm. He gives a lot of thanks to Dorn. Well done. It looks like we know what we have to do. I think we should discuss that before we make any rash plans. We're not making any plans yet. Don't worry, Briggy. For now. Uh, he kind of just his chin towards uh, the, the two of them over there. Do you think it's safe to stay in the village? Like we were offered. We definitely should not wait there for the father to come back. That's Don't a trend. think he'll do anything outright hostile. But I'd just sleep safely if anything. One of y'all went missing in the night and were replaced. Hell, we might never even know. Let's assume we plan on sleeping. And you'll look up just to gauge the time of day if you can. Uh, it's probably like a couple hours till night at this point. Yeah. He'll, uh... We're, we're, we're safe. He'll, he'll look over to someone over here and then like, uh... I try to like round everyone up, beckoning them over. You begin oh. hearing a um, a loud bell, oh. uh, springing off in the distance. Um, which which you would know is like a like a church bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling. I don't think <laughs> that's how the bell sounds. <laughs> ding 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 I, ding ding ding. Almost never mind. Nope. What? Nothing. What? No, what? Coward. I mean, maybe like some certain Catholic churches sound like ding a ling ling, but. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, you gather up. What do you, what do you, what do you say? No. <laughs> no. First things first, with the bells start ringing, Halbjorn will, will ask them, uh, is that the cause for concern? No, it's Mother Lorelai is going to be giving a sermon. Oh. Hmm. Is it one we should miss? Certainly one I shouldn't. Uh, Rosemary, you... I'll... She looks over to you. Yes, it's probably best we go. <sighs> We can meet you while you make your decision. Give you some privacy to discuss what you need to without our leave. Of course. They head off back to the town. I'm going to use the bathroom, my friends. Let's take off five. Okay.